There, now I got mine. Did I finally succeed at going live? Ah. In stream, go live. It says I'm live. I'm fine. <coughs> <coughs> you walked away from a princess cap down there. I did? Where? Did I finally succeed at going live? Ah. There we go. Now I did finally succeed at going live. Hello, Karoth crew, for a third time. I finally figured out what I was doing wrong. So now I'm finally alive. Go get the mushroom! Ah, the mushroom isn't going to help me. We are playing Mario Party Deluxe, and hopefully I can find a way to get Emily Dickinson to play. Thus far, I have not been able to find out how to get her to play. Hopefully, <coughs> shortly, I will find out how to get Emily Dickinson to be read to us a la dyslexic style, and we can continue this evening's events. No, it won't let us. What? All you gotta do is butt stomp. Oh, there we go. I did try to do butt stomp. That's so weird. Oh, well. Yes. Hello. Hello, kitty. Yes, run from it, princess. Oh, stop. <laughs> you guys didn't see, but she had actually stolen a couple of the power-ups when, when she was the only one that is able to take the Not crown. Not on purpose. Well, at least you got another power-up right behind for us, for yourself. Now we have the same amount of one-ups, so I can't down you on that one. I did steal two one-ups at one point in time, maybe, possibly. Isn't this a teamwork game? Not really. It's kind of like I'm playing and or we happen to be playing together, but when we do stuff like that, it's definitely a teamwork game. I promise you we're not a dysfunctional couple. We love each other. <laughs> Though. Yeah, that's kind of the that's most what matters. <laughs> there we go. I accidentally <coughs> when I was <coughs> Uh oh, we're running out of time. If oh only no. it actually mattered. It's so far. Look at that! Yay! Yay! We both got one ups. Good job. Good job, princess. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I'm going to try to play Emily Dickinson this way. And see how well it comes out. And either it's going to work perfectly. And I'm going to be able to he Still hear it. Snow. And we're all going to be able to hear it, or it's not going to work at all. But I think if I put this here and do it this way, everyone can hear it. Poems, series one, by Emily Dickinson. There we go. Part one, life. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. It's saying it's For more information or to volunteer, but... please visit LibriVox.org. Part yeah. one. Life. Every dyslexic in the world should love LibriVox. If you don't, then you should. <laughs> Life. One. Ready? Success. Yeah. Success is counted sweetest by those who never succeed. To comprehend a nectar requires sorest need. Not one of all the purple host who took the flag today can tell the definition so clear of victory as he defeated dying on whose forbidden ear the distant strains of triumph break 
agonized and clear. Two. Our share of night to bear, our share of morning, our blank in bliss to fill, our blank in scorning. Here a star and there a star, some lose their way, here a mist and there a mist, afterwards, day. Three. Rouge et noir. I, I should pause these in between because so, number yeah. two no, almost didn't make any sense. By just no, such I a liked hazard, number one. That was good. Indeed, but tens have won and all. Angel's breathless ballad lingers to record the imps in eager caucus raffle for my soul. Wow. Four. Wow. So depressing. <laughs> Tis so much joy. Tis so much joy. If I should fail, what poverty. And yet, as poor as I have ventured all upon a throw, have gained, yes, hesitated so, this side the victory. Oh, I, I don't want life to is but flower. life, and death but death. Bliss is but bliss, and breath but breath. Oh, hey, they're looking and if, good. indeed, I fail, at least to know the worst is sweet. Defeat means nothing but defeat. No drearier can prevail. And if I gain, oh, gun at sea. O oh, bells that in the steeples be, at first repeat it slow, for heaven is a different thing, conjectured and waked sudden in, there something up there? and might overwhelm me so. Five. Glee. The great storm is over. Four have recovered the land, forty gone down together into the boiling sand. Ring for the scant salvation, toll for the bonny souls. Neighbor and oh, friend shit. and bridegroom Sorry. spinning upon bad. the shoals. Oh. How they will tell the shipwreck when winter shakes the door, till the children ask, But the forty? Did they come back no more? The forty? Then a silence suffuses huh. the story, and a softness the teller's eye. And the children no further question, and only the waves reply. Is that? Wait. You go first and get one, and then I'll get Six. one. Six. The flower. If I can stop one heart from breaking, ah. I shall not live in vain. Wow, this is really If I can manage. ease one life from aching, okay. or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, wow. I shall not live in vain. Okay. So that was obviously... Okay, I, I, I'm going to finally start pausing it in between. That was obviously a poem talking about how mundane things can be obscenely meaningful like I mean like one robin's death if one robin if I save one robin then my life won't be in vain mm -hmm. that's like how it doesn't matter how her trying to say it doesn't matter how mundane a thing I accomplish in life it will be meaningful to me because I have accomplished it and I still like it's like a lot of Emily Dickinson's poems are really good, but they really speak to the time that she lived in. Yeah. And I think that's the case with any good poetry of like, it speaks volumes of the era, but you have to listen to it with that context because like women's rights just wasn't a thing. Like not like just not even a little. So, a woman saying, like, oh, but if I can just do something small and mundane, my life won't be in vain. And it's kind of like how, oops, we needed that turtle. I didn't tell you we needed that turtle, but surprise, we needed that turtle. Uh... But yeah, I... Oops, we could use that turtle too. Uh, I can't decide which way to go. Maybe we get both? Nope, I'm not gonna get both. Okay, let's go back. Okay, I wanna play the next one now. Seven. Almost. Within my reach, I could have touched. I might have chanced that way. Soft, sauntered through the village sauntered as soft away 
So unsuspecting violets within the fields lie low, too late for striving fingers that passed an hour ago. 8. A wounded deer leaps highest, I've heard the hunter tell. Tis but the ecstasy of death, and then the break is still. The smitten rock that gushes, the trampled steel that springs, a cheek is always redder, just where the hectic stings. Mirth is the mail of anguish, in which it cautions arm, lest anybody spy the blood, and you're hurt, exclaim. 9. The heart asks pleasure first, and then, excuse from pain, and then, those little anodynes that deaden suffering, and then, to go to sleep, and then, if it should be, the will of its inquisitor, the liberty, to die. Ten. That one was like, particularly like, just about the beginning. <laughs> A lot of these poems are very depressing. <laughs> Ten. In a library. A precious, moldering Here, place it is to meet an antique book in just the dress a century too, wore. Like, what was her a life privilege, like I think. Then. What was her life venerable like hand back to take, in those days? Warming in our own and how were a passage back in general or back two to me. Well, I mean... On one hand, she got, like, a really good life. Of, she had a really good life, and she was in a privileged position. As long as we don't get the leftmost one, we're okay. I think. I feel like I'm talking really, really low compared to you. Uh, that's because I'm trying to reach my voice to that microphone. Okay, ready? Yeah, just don't get the leftmost one. Um, yeah, I mean, things were harder then, in general, but, and especially for women, but she herself was still, like, still had a good life for herself, because she at least had the privilege of being in a position where she got to fake being a man for <laughs> long enough to put out Books. If I'm not mistaken, that was generically what happened to, with Emily Dickinson. Is she at least had the ability to fake being a man. So she could tell her stories. So she could do her craft. And, man, she's like almost like Edgar Allan Poe in the way she's dark. A passage back or two to me. Yeah, she kind of is. To times when he was young. Oh, it's this level. His quaint opinions to inspect, his I knowledge to unfold, level. and what concerns our mutual mind, ah. the literature of old. What interested scholars most? What competitions ran when Plato was a certainty, and really Sophocles a man? Boy. When Sappho was a living girl, and Beatrice wore the gown that Dante defied. Facts centuries before. He traverses familiar as one should come to town and tell you all your dreams were true. He lived where dreams were sown. His presence is enchantment. You beg him not to go. Hmm. Old volumes shake their vellum heads and tantalize just so. Eleven. I like her poems about love. Much madness is divinest sense to a discerning eye. Yeah, that's another Much note. What poems am I re what poems are we playing life. right now? Oh life. Life poems. Life poems. So her life and her opinion of life is a lot of that. Of Much death. sense yeah. is the starkest wow. madness. Tis the majority in this as all prevails. A sense I mean, people didn't live safe. very long back then Dimmer? either though. No, they didn't. You're straightway like, dangerous. What? Uh, mid twenties, early thirties? Yeah, I think you Twelve. were lucky if you got past 50. Yeah. I asked no other thing. No other was denied. I offered oh, being shit. for it. The mighty merchant smiled. Brazil? He twirled the button without a glance my way. But, madam, 
Is there nothing else that we can show today? Thirteen. We going up? Exclusion. Or this way. We have to go across. The soul selects her own society, oh. then shuts the door on her divine majority. Obtrude no more. Unmoved, she notes the chariots pausing at her low gate. Unmoved, an emperor is kneeling upon her mat. I have known her from an ample nation. Choose one, then close the valves of her attention like stone. Like, I like Fourteen. the cadence and the wording the of that one, but the, but the meaning wasn't like lost on me. It was just... Come on. It doesn't equate to modern day. If I could just get up there. Oh. Ah. Oops. Oh, I wasn't going to die. Shit. I uh, want to jump on my head? Yeah. There you go. Oh. Ah. Hold on. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> I got it. <laughs> Teamwork. Team. Makes dream the work. Kind of. Some things that fly there be birds, ours, go the bumblebee, no? no, we gotta go of those no elegy. Some things that stay there be grief, hills, eternity. Nor this behooveth me. There are that resting rise. Can I expound the skies? How still the riddle lies. Fifteen. The Lonely House. I know some lonely houses off the road, a robber'd like the look of. Wooden barred and windows hanging low, mm. inviting two. A portico, where two would close creep. One the hand the tools, the other peep, <coughs> to make sure all's asleep. <coughs> Old fashioned eyes, not easy to surprise. How orderly the kitchens look by night, with just a clock. But they could gag the tick, and wow. mice won't bark, and so the walls don't tell. None will. <laughs> Uh -oh. A pair of spectacles ajar, just stir, and almanacs aware. Was it the mat winked, or nervous star? The moon slides Bubble. down the stair Bubble. to see who's there. There's plunder. Where? Okay. Tankard or spoon, earring or stone, a watch, some ancient brooch to match the crown <coughs> on, stayed sleeping there. Oh. Day rattles too, stealth slow, the sun has Crap. got as far as the third sycamore. We Screams Chanticleer, who's Not there? And echoes trains away, sneer, where? While the old couple, just astir, stir, fancy the sunrise left the door ajar. Hmm. Sixteen. To fight aloud is very brave, home. but gallanter I know, who charge within the bosom of the cavalry of woe. Who win and nations do not see, who fall and none observe, whose dying eyes no country regards with patriot love. We trust in plumed procession, for such the angels go, rank after rank, with even feet and uniforms of snow. Shit. Seventeen. Dawn. <coughs> the night is almost done, and sunrise grows so near that we can touch the spaces. It's time to smooth the... Hey, Tracy, can you actually hear the... the... the book? You're the only person here. Can you actually hear it? Or should I turn it up more? What are you doing, cat? Cats are always crazy. <coughs> <coughs> I'm just gonna keep going with it. It's time to smooth the hair and get the dimples I ready. Tell who's on. And wonder we could care uh, for it's that old face. Tracy actually commented. Oh, cool. an hour. oh, she can. Good. Eighteen. The Book of Martyrs. Read, sweet. The Book of Martyrs. How others drove till we are stouter. Is that what, she what said? they renounced till That's we are what less this afraid. Poem is How called. many times wow. they bore the faithful witness till we are helped. As if a kingdom cared. Crap. Read then a faith that shone above the faggot. Clear strains of him the river could not drown. Brave names of men and celestial women. This one's passed hard. Out I hate this level. Into renown. No, no, crush me. Nineteen. The Crap. mystery of pain. 
Oh no. Pain has an element of blank. It cannot what? recollect when it began or if there were oh, a day when it was not. Shit. It has no okay. future but itself. Its infinite realms contain its Look past, enlightened to perceive new periods of pain. Mm. Twenty. I taste a liquor never brewed, from tankard scooped Can't in pearl. Not all the vats upon the Rhine yield such an alcohol. Get the Inebriated of air am I, in the botchy of dew, <coughs> reeling through endless sands <coughs> from inns of molten blue. From coughing. When landlords turn the drunken bee out of the foxglove's door, when butterflies renounce their drams, Ready? I shall but drink the more. Till seraphs oh, swing their snowy hats and saints to windows run. Get up to the top. I the see the little tripler lean the against the sun. Twenty-one. A book. Pop me. He ate and drank the precious words. His spirit grew robust. He knew hey, no more me. that he was poor. Oh, nor man. that his frame was dust. He danced along the dingy days, oh, and this bequest oh. of wings was but a book. What liberty a loosened spirit brings. Twenty-two. I had no time to hate, because the grave would hinder me, and life was not so ample I could finish enmity. Oh. Nor had I time to love, but since some industry must be, the little so toil of love, I time. thought, was large enough for me. Twenty-three. Unreturning. Interesting. Twas such a little, a of little boat in life, that toddled down the bay. The person. Twas such a gallop. You know, yeah, I mean. Just a lot of regret. Yeah. Also, Tracy made a good statement. It's, it's, it's a lot of like just. Her. It's a lot of like getting drunk on words. It's yeah. a lot like just getting drunk on words. I mean, it's it sounds beautiful. But it's so dark and yeah. I mean, especially this set of poems is very dark and dreary. Yeah. And like, I'm I'm almost anxious to get past this th this part, but it's we're we're almost at the Just end. Kinda like, well, where did the loved ones go? Like, what what, what happened? The loved ones here? is the next is the next uh is the next set of uh poems. No, it's, wait, it's life about... and then love. Okay. So literally, we're at the last one. Don't push me, yo. And some of the stuff that she's saying is like so. I mean, it's beautiful cadence. Yeah. And it's, and some of it, if you don't like sit and you have to really ponder, ponder it. it. You yeah. Do. You have to really. You have to take each line and really think about it. Yeah. And really digest it. And because we're not, we're just kind of getting lost. In the cadence and beauty of. Wait. Okay. Let me freeze him. Okay. Fudge. Where? <gasps> ah! You said fudge. I can't have fudge. I, I know, but I, it still doesn't mean I don't want some. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you no! got punched. Oh, shit. That's like the running <laughs> after you like this thing and you <laughs> ran into their fists. That's literally like, <laughs> that's like that guy's fighting style. <laughs> the bay. It was such a gallant, we gallant sea we did. that faded away. <laughs> it was such a greedy, greedy wave that licked it from the coast. Nor ever guessed the stately sails my little craft was lost. I know you gotta go for it. You're whether like, my bark went down the sea, whether she oh, met with gales, whether to Deep isles arms. enchanted she oh, bent oh. her docile sails, by what mystic mooring she is held today. This is the errand of the eye out upon Yoshi, the bay. Yeah. 25. <laughs> Belshazzar had a letter. He never had but one. Belshazzar's correspondent concluded and begun. In that Belshazzar? immortal copy, the conscience of us all can read without its glasses on Revelation's wall. Belshazzar, an old god? 26. I don't know. I've never the heard of that. The brain within its groove runs evenly and true, but let a splinter swerve. T'was easier for you to put the water back 
when floods have slit the hills and scooped a turnpike for themselves and blotted out the mills. Oops. Ooh. It's not necessarily what I meant to do, but it worked. End Ow. of part one of poems. Series oh, no. one by Emily Dickinson. Eat him. I, I, I tried to, but I couldn't face him. Poems. Series one by Emily Dickinson. Part what do two. The apples do? Love. When you get enough of them. This man. is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox Ooh. recordings are in the when public you get domain. Enough, when you get Jump one. For information on a volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Part two. Love. Here we go. I One. like her love poem. Mine. Yeah. Mine by the right of the white election. Mine I by the royal seal. One. Mine by the sign in the scarlet prison bars cannot conceal. Mine here in vision and in veto. Mine by the graves repeal. Titled, confirmed, delirious charter. Mine while the ages steal. I love this one. Two. Request. Ah, crap a -moly. You left me no, I think we can land on two them. legacies. But we can also eat them. Ooh. A legacy of love, a heavenly father would content, had he the offer wait, of... Wait, wait, Yoshi, look at me. Look at me. You left me uh, boundaries. Uh, 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 <laughs> your consciousness and <laughs> Three. Alter you dump on when me the hills get do. Falter when the sun. <laughs> Question if his glory be the perfect one. There we go. Go get your Yoshi. Surfeit, when the daffodil doth the dew, even as herself. Oh, friend, I will of you. Four, suspense. Elysium is as far as to the very nearest room, if in that room a friend await felicity or doom. What fortune to the soul contains Whoa, never can so endure the accent of a common foot, the opening of a door. Five. Okay, so I think Elysium and Balthazar are characters in books that were popular at the time. But once he, so it's um <gasps> Crap Yoshi, no! Come back, Yoshi, you come back. There we go. So it's like I don't know. If I were to talk to someone nowadays and make a poem about uh, Thundercats. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, right? It's kind of what it is. Like, who would care about a poem about the Thundercats? But, I mean, that's Here, I want to jump on you. Uh, yes, I definitely want to <coughs> jump on you. Wait, or... Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Jumping on you would be very helpful. Oh, then you jump on me. Ah! Get the star! <laughs> Even if it just kills that one guy, it's gonna be worth it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, <but> I <coughs> no! lost my Yoshi. I lost my Yoshi. Oh, I got my Yoshi back. Ah! <laughs> furry dude. You got him. He did. He was a tricky little bastard. <laughs> Fury of the furries. <coughs> Five. Surrender. Is Doubt still me, the love my dear yeah, companion. Yes. Oh, Why? Oh. God would Get be it. content with but a fraction of the love poured thee without a stint. Wow. The whole of me forever. What more wow. the woman can. Say quick. That I may dower thee with last delight I own. It cannot be my spirit, for that was thine before. I seated all of dust I knew. What opulence the more oh, had I, a cool. humble maiden, whose farthest of degree was that she humble might some maiden. distant heaven dwell timidly with thee. How do we get up there? Six. If you were coming in the fall, I'd brush the summer by, with half a smile and half a spurn, as housewives do a fly. If I could see you in a year, I'd wind the months into balls and put them each in separate Yay! drawers until their time befalls. If only centuries delayed, the I'd count them on my hand, subtracting till my fingers dropped into Van Diemen's I have land. no idea how I'm supposed to do that. Okay. If certain when this life was out that yours and mine should be, I'd toss it yonder like a rind Ooh, and taste eternity. But now, all ignorant of the length of time's uncertain wing, it goads me like the goblin bee, 
that will not stay its sting. <laughs> I just ditched my Yoshi at the flagpole. So, like, with a flower. Thanks for ditching us. Bye. I hide myself within a flower that wearing on your breast, you unsuspecting <coughs> wear me too. And angels know the rest. I hide myself within my flower that fading into your vase, you unsuspecting feel for me almost a loneliness. Unrequited Eight. love. Proof. That's that not just love. Like, uh, emotional proof. unavailability, love, basically. I did yeah. not love Sums that up. That I shall love always. My flower faded I into your that face. Love is life. Life <laughs> like, it's like you used me. Dost thou doubt, and we sweet? went all the way, and you're then emotionally unavailable. Yeah. Nine. Have you got a brook in your little heart where bashful flowers blow? And blushing birds go down to drink, and shadows tremble so. And nobody knows, so still it flows, that any brook is there. And yet your little draught of life is daily drunken there. Then look out for that little brook in March, when the rivers overflow, and the snows come hurling from the hills, and the bridges often go. And later, in August it may be, when the meadows parching lie, beware, lest this little brook of life some burning oh, noon go dry. Guys. Ten, if you don't date me soon, I'm not going to be into As you. if some little arctic it's flower basically what that meant. Polar hem went wandering down the latitudes until it puzzled, came to continents of summer, to fur merriments oh, of sun. Wait, 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 wait. Clouds of flowers and birds of foreign I mean, tongue. Crafting. I say, as if this crafting. little flower to Eden wandered in. What then? Why nothing, you only fireballs. your yep, inference probably. therefrom. Eleven. Okay, this way? The outlet. My river runs to thee, blue sea, wilt welcome me? My river waits reply. O oh, sea, look graciously. I'll fetch thee brooks from spotted nooks. Say, <laughs> sea, take me. Wow. Twelve. And that's and her saying she wants that I guy. I cannot live with you. It would be life. And life is over there, behind the shelf. The sexton keeps the key to putting up our life, his porcelain like a cup, discarded of the housewife, quaint or broken. Anura severs pleases, old ones crack. I could not die with you. For one must wait to shut the other's gaze down. You could not, my. and I, could I stand by and see you freeze without my right of frost, death's <laughs> privilege? Nor could I rise with you. Because your face would put out Jesus, that new grace, glow plain and foreign on my homesick eye, except that you, then he, shone closer by. They'd judge us. How? <clears throat> For you served heaven, you know, or sought to. I could not. Because you saturated sight, and I had no more eyes for sordid excellence as paradise. And were you lost, I would be. Though my name rang loudest on the heavenly fame. And were you saved, and I condemned to be where you were not, that self were hell to me. So we must keep apart, you there, I here, with just the door ajar, the oceans are in prayer, and that pale sustenance, despair. That is definitely a, I like you more than I should. Yeah. And that was, that's like a, that's almost like a personal letter. I like you more than I should, and I shouldn't like you. Yeah. That way. Yeah. Perhaps he was married? Or she just wasn't allowed to go out with him. Yeah. Not the same was, class. Yeah, not the same class. I mean, it was a generation where people actually respected their fathers. I mean, uh, everyone should always respect their fathers. Hi, I'm a father. <laughs> Thirteen. Renunciation. There came a day at summer's full entirely for me. I thought the sun were for the saints where revelations be. The sun as common went abroad. The flowers accustomed okay. blue as if no soul the solstice passed. The you get the right, I get the lefty? Yeah. The time was scarce profaned by speech. Matter. The symbol of the word needless. <laughs> oh, fudge. Oh, fudge, oh, fudge, 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 fud
Each was the each the uh, sealed church. Permitted to commune this time. Yeah. Lest we too one. awkward show one. at supper Yay. of the you Lamb. Got the I hours got slid oh, by. Oh, crap. Sorry, and I got the taken well. away. Clutched tight by greedy hands. Yeah. So faces yeah. on two decks look back. You did really good. Bound to opposing <laughs> lands. <laughs> and so, when all the time had failed without external Yay. sight. Yay! Each That's bound the other's crucifix. Still! Not more. Sufficient trough that we shall rise. Deposed <coughs> the grave to that new marriage justified through calvaries of love. Fourteen. Did we do love's this? Love's baptism. I'm seated. I've stopped being theirs. The name they dropped upon my face with water in the country church is finished using now. Oh no. And they can put what it with my dolls, my childhood and the string of spools I've finished threading too. Baptized before without the choice, but this time consciously of grace. Unto supremest name, called to my full, the crescent dropped, existence's whole arc filled up with one small diadem. My second rank too small, the first, crowned, crowning on my father's breast, a half unconscious queen, but this time adequate, erect, with all to choose or to rejoice, and I choose. Just a throne. This one? Uh huh. Fifteen. Resurrection. Mm. Twas a long parting, but the time for interview had come. Before the judgment seat of God, the last and second time, these fleshless lovers met, a heaven in gaze, a heaven of heavens, the privilege of one another's eyes. No lifetime set on them apparel as the new unborn. Except they had beheld, born everlasting now, <laughs> was bridal era like this? Okay, you go that way. A paradise, the host, and cherubim Remember, and bubble. seraphim, the most familiar okay. guest. Da. Sixteen, apocalypse. Uh, I'm wife. I finished that that other state. I'm czar. I'm woman now. It's safer so. How odd the girl's life looks behind that soft eclipse. Calling I think the earth seems so to those in heaven now. Yeah. The other kind was oh, no. pain. But why compare? Oh, no. I'm white. Life. Stop That's there. true. We need to lose someone up. 17. The wife. She rose to his requirement, dropped the playthings of her life to take the honorable work of woman and of wife. Yeah, I... If aught she missed in her day of amplitude or awe, about the or first perspective that she's in. She, of the they're gold, not about it's like more the, talking about, like, you're it lay about arranged marriage. Yeah. Pearl and weed, like that her parents arranged for her and not, not wanting it, but going along with the culture and the way 18. things were back then. Apotheosis. She's, you know. Come slowly, Eden. Lips unused to thee, bashful, sip thy jasmines as the fainting bee. We need to bee, stop bumping each other. That's what's flower, doing it. Round her chamber oh. hums, counts his nectars <laughs> and his moss and balls. I don't know. Look what happens when that happens. There's one in the <laughs> oven. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Series one. There's one in the I oven. One of the baby monitor. <laughs> <laughs> My mushroom, you stingy <laughs> vixen. <laughs> what you are? This is a Be careful. Recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. I see More shovel. I see hole. I see you dig. <laughs> I see you sleep on floor. I see me sleep with cats no more. Yeah. <laughs> New feet within my garden go. New feet stir the solid. A troubadour upon the elm betrays the solitude. New children <coughs> play upon the green. New weary sleep below, and still the pensive spring returns, and still the punctual snow. Oh look, it's more stuff for you. Yay! I'm the <laughs> princess. Fun. You are. Pink, small, and punctual. Aromatic, low. It fits. Covert in <gasps> April, candid in May. Dear to the moss, known by the knoll. I love Next she to the glide. robin in every human soul. Bold little beauty, ah, bedecked with boy. thee, and nature forswears antiquity. I made it, but then I burst out. Why? The murmur of a bee, a witchcraft yieldeth me. If any ask me why, twere easier to die than tell. 
The rat upon the hill Ooh, take I didn't away take my it will. That time. Anybody smear, take care. Oh, for God I was supposed here. to get the coin That's above all. the lava. The You're breaking of the day added to my degree. Right time. If any me? ask me how, artists yeah, drew me so. The, must help. Or, or you, or Four. you jump and you bubble, Perhaps and that would like actually work really well too. Oh. I I'm gonna do it. Sound. I'm jumping bubble. Ready? If you would like yeah. to borrow a bubble, yay! <laughs> 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 the village door. And we're until the bees the <laughs> shall we draw. I will lend until just then, but not an hour more. Five. The pedigree of honey does not concern the bee. Oh a my. clover any time to him is aristocracy. See that? That's like social. Oh no! I did Six. not realize I was burning. A service of salt. That's so far. Some. The See, she's, pedigree of she's talking honey. about she, okay so she's like what I get is she's talking about social class and like you cannot love somebody that is not within your social class and she's talking about the pedigree and the bee does and the honey and how it like she's she's talking about how you have to be in how you have to be with somebody from your same social class and you can't you, you can't go outside of that social class for love yeah. or for a relationship yeah, that sounds about right. Service of song. Some keep the Sabbath going to church. I keep it staying at home, with a bobolink for a chorister and an orchid for a dome. Some keep the Sabbath in surplus. I just wear my wings. Instead of tolling the bell for church, our little sexton sings. God preaches, a noted clergyman, and the sermon is never long. So instead of getting to heaven at last, I'm going all along. Jumping bubble! Seven. The bee is not afraid of me. Okay. She likes to use sextons. Like, this is the yeah. second time I heard She's, her use a sexton. She keeps saying it a lot. And this is the... And a sexton is a reference to a tool used to measure distance at sea. So she really likes... Um, oh my. She really likes talking about the sea. Yes, she does. And I, I mean, I guess it. That or she just likes the, the name, with the, a word with the name sex in it. No, she doesn't strike me as the type. But maybe, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. No, but she actually had one whole poem earlier just talking about the sea when she was talking about life. That's true. Like, it was an entire poem dedicated to, like, yeah. sea, uh, sea and aquatic references. Yeah. And, um, maybe her family has a lot to do with boating or something? Oh, good job. Abaga, <laughs> abaga. What? That's okay. You can call me. I don't care. I almost died. The bee is not afraid of me. I know the butterfly. See? The pretty people in the woods receive me cordially. The brooks laugh louder when I come. The breezes matter play. Wherefore, mine eyes, thy silver miss. Wherefore, O oh, summer's day. So right there, who she fancies Eight. isn't afraid summer's to armies. fancy her. Some people would would uh, would accept her. Some people would not. Yeah. She referenced butterflies. It. She's talking about how there's a different class of people: the bees and the butterflies. The bees and the butterflies. Yeah. And it's like you were saying earlier about the different social classes. Yeah. I really think that's that's a, that's like, the narrative of this set of poems. Yeah. This. Summer's army. This set of poems. This. Some oh rainbow no, what coming we from the fair. Oh no, it's Some so vision of the world ah. cashmere. Jump on the head. It's I constantly crazy. see. Or oh. else a peacock's oh no. purple train. You? Oh feather no. by feather on the plane no, throws itself doing? away. Do not the dreamy on butterflies bestir in lethargic pools I'm resume get your the war head of last year's sundered tune. You get that head. From yes, some I'm old fortress on the sun, barren old bees march one by one. 
and cool murmuring like, platoon. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You got him! <laughs> you said you were gonna get all over that head. I did. You did. You just got all up in there. I just smashed it. Yeah, there you go. Without commander, countless still. The regiment of wood and hill, the bright detachment stand. Behold, what words are these? The children of whose turbaned seas, or what Circassian land? Oh, they will not let us go. Nine, the grass. The grass a little has to do. Okay. A sphere of simple up. green. Oh, yeah. With only butterflies to brood, and bees to entertain. And stir all day to pretty the tunes, the breezes eye. fetch along. Gotta and hold the sunshine in its lap, and bow to everything. Because so I can see and in my thread the dews all vision. night like pearls. And make itself so fine, a duchess were too common for such a noticing. And even when it dies, to pass in odors so divine, as lowly spices gone to oh, sleep, that's his or <laughs> amulets of pine. That's and his then butt right there. <laughs> And dream the days away. The grass a little has to do. I wish I were You guys were the met hay. Mario in one of the other videos. It's Mario sleeping. Yeah. Ten. And this is Princess Rosalina. A little yep. road not made of man, enabled of the eye. Can you tell we like Mario? <laughs> or Wait, that's gonna be my fire flower. You already got the. You already got the Princess Peach flower. Beyond okay. itself. Take it. I will not take it. Is that I can oh, say. Oh, I, I only sigh. No, get it. Oh no! Oh, oh, no, it drowned. Oh no! Where are you? Eleven. Summer shower. Ah. No, you're gonna get crushed. Don't go quick. Come, oh, oh, princess. <laughs> you got it. Made the gables laugh. I, a few I almost was willing to die that for went you. To help the sea. Myself conjectured, oh. were they pearls? What necklaces could be? The dust replaced in hoisted roads. The birds jocoser sung. And sunshine threw his hat one? away. The orchids spangles hung. No, all these poems. The breezes be about brought class. dejected lutes and so bathed funny. them in the glee. The east put out a single Yay! flag and signed the fed away. It's rain and coins. Oops. Twelve. Psalm of the day. Oh no, big scary bird. A something in a summer's day, as slow her flambeau burn away, which solemnizes me. Oops. A something in a summer's noon, an azure debt, the wordless tune, a transcending ecstasy. And still within a summer's night, a something so transporting bright, I clap my hands to see. Then veil my too inspecting face, lest such a subtle, ah, no, shimmering grace bird. flutter too far from me. The wizard fingers never rest, Careful, the Mario. purple brook within the breast still chafes its narrow bed. Still rears the east her amber flag, guides still the sun along the crag, his caravan of red, like flowers that heard the tale of dews, but never deemed the dripping prize awaiting their low brows. Or bees that thought the summer's name some Ooh, rumor of delirium, okay. no summer oh, could oh, fudge much Or then. arctic creatures, dimly Sorry. stirred by okay. tropic hint. Okay, ready? Some traveled bird importing to the wood. Fly! Or wind's bright signal to the ear. Fly, Luigi, making fly! Making homely and severe, contented, known they were before. Yay. The heavenly unexpected king. Teamwork. Teamwork. To Teamwork. lives that Teamwork. thought their worshipping a too presumptuous psalm. Yeah, 13. I can't get it. Oh, here we go. A sea of sunset. This no, is the land the sunset um, washes. Hit the pow block. These oh, I are hit the pow banks pow of the yellow yeah, sea. Pow, pow, pow. Where it rose or whither it rushes. These are the western mystery. Night after night, her purple yeah, traffic strews coins. the landing Yay. with opal good. bales. Merchant men poise upon horizons, dip and vanish with fairy snails. Uh, fairy 14. snails. Yeah. Purple clover. There is a flower that bees prefer and butterflies desire to gain the purple democrat the humming birds aspire and whatsoever insect pass a honey oh, bears no. away proportion to his it's several dearth <laughs> and her capacity We both did it for our own reasons at the same her time too and then once the I moon, saw what you were going to do I was like oh gown, no then you did it you, you already had done it was like, oh, No problem we were She so doth not wait for June before the world is green her sturdy okay. little countenance against the wind is seen, contending with the grass, near kinsman herself, her privilege of sod and sun. 
Sweet ah. litigants for life. And when the hills are full and never fashions blow, doth but retract a single spice bubble, for paying of jealousy. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Her public is the noon. Up here again. Her providence the sun. Her progress by the bee proclaimed in sovereign, swerveless tune. I help you. The bravest of the host, surrendering the last, nor even of <gasps> defeat bubble, aware, bubble, bubble, bubble. cancelled by the frost. <laughs> it's really hard when we're small. Like trains of cars on tracks of plush, I hear the level B. A jar across the flowers goes. Their velvet masonry like a withstands we until a sweet we assault the so chivalry consumes, while he, victorious, tilts away to vanquish other blues. Who can do it? <laughs> Teamwork. So. His feet are shod with gold. Oh, His man. helmet is of gold. <laughs> His breast a single onyx with chrysoprase inlaid. His labor is a chant. His idleness a tune. Oh, for a bee's experience of clover and of noon. Sixteen. Oh, no. Presentiment is that long shadow on the lawn, indicative right? that suns That's go down. That's a weird one too. Yeah. The notice to the startled grass that darkness is about to pass. <gasps> oh, Bubble. Oh, Good job. Good catch. That was scary. As children bid the guests oh, good night and then reluctant turn, the oh, flowers no. raise their pretty lips, oh, then put the nightgowns on. As children caper Try when they again. wake, marry their wow. dinner's morn. My flowers from a hundred cribs will peep. And prance again. Huh. My, 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 my flowers, flowers from a hundred crims will keep? I don't know. But she said, my flowers from a hundred crims and Bo Peep. <laughs> well, Bo Peep <laughs> is wearing a crimson cowl. Hmm. I need to stop coughing. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Eighteen. Angels Eight in the early lives. morning may be oh, seen the dudes true. among, stooping, plucking, smiling, flying, to the buds to them belong. Stone eyes on. Angels when the sun is hottest may be seen the sands among, stooping, <gasps> plucking, sighing, Don't. flying. Parch the flowers they bear along. Nineteen. So bashful when I spied her, so pretty, so ashamed, so hidden in her leafless, lest anybody find. So breathless till I passed her, so breathless when I turned and bore her struggling, blushing, her simple haunts beyond. <coughs> For whom I robbed the dingle? For whom I betrayed the dell, <laughs> many will doubtless ask me, but I shall never tell. Oh my. Twenty. Two worlds. <laughs> it makes no difference abroad. The seasons Did, fit the same. I mean, like, maybe maybe this is like a, a, uh, a year, or like the, like our generation. Maybe Dingle meant something completely different back then than what we referenced it as nowadays. Oh no. Or I'm having way too much faith in her and she meant she actually robbed the dingle, which, yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I, I mean, yeah, like, wow, right? I mean, um, <laughs> she, she wrote it. I, I'm not just quoting it. She robbed the dingle. <laughs> she... <laughs> I'm glad that, I'm glad a long dead poet can make you crack up by her robbing someone's dingle. Man. <laughs> that one gets you. Wow. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. The oh no. <laughs> the and split their pods of flame. Wild flowers okay, kindle in the woods, the I brooks brag all the day. No blackbird baits his jargoning for passing cavalry. Auto da fe and judgment are nothing to the bee. <laughs> his separation from his rose to him oh, seems no. misery. Some of this stuff I need to the thesaurus to yeah. read. And Elizabeth the mountain sat upon the, the plain, thesaurus. his eternal chair, his observations omnifold, his inquest everywhere. Omnifold. The seasons prayed around his knees. Like children round a sire, 
grandfather of the days is he, of dawn the ancestor. Like, that's just talking about the seasons, though, by the way, it sounds. It sounds that way. Oh, it is talking about the seasons, because she's talking about nature. Twenty-two. A day. I'll tell you how the sun rose. A ribbon at a time. The steeples swam in amethyst. The news like squirrels ran. The hills untied their bonnets. The bobolinks begun. Then I said softly to myself, That must have been the sun. But how he set, I know not. There seemed a purple style, Which little yellow boys and girls Were climbing all the while. Till when they reached the other side, a dominey in gray put gently up the evening bars and led the flock away. Twen I feel like she could have done more with the sun setting there and she decided not to. Yeah, but the problem is now I want to listen to that poem again just so then that way I can equate it to that. But, I mean, once again, all of her language is so flowery and, I mean, okay. I'm not saying it's not elegant and I'm not saying it's not beautiful, but it's so flowery that you really have, like, a hundred different ways to interpret her writing before you can get to a point. Like, like, even the one that we, even the one that we, I, we just heard with the, with the sun, with the sun rising with a thousand ribbons and, um, it sounds beautiful but you would need to you could interpret it a hundred different ways her poems are like art on paper where you can look at it and read it and interpret it any way you want and even once you know the words and what the words mean you still would have to talk to her to find out what her true meaning of it is. But that would limit you as opposed to free you to find out what you want it to mean to you. And I guess that's the point. But I mean, like, my whole channel is about stories and about telling stories, so I don't want people to interpret my stories differently. I want people to in interpret Layla as a mermaid, and she's an explorer, and she doesn't really care about the surface people, but... And DJ is her own person that is doing her own things while she's, while she's doing her job. And... I don't know. I, I, I like I like things a little more cut and dry, but that's also not what poetry is. And I like <laughs> I'm having fun just riffing on what her stuff can mean. Let's see. Twenty three. A butterfly's assumption gown in Chris Apray's apartments hung this afternoon put on. How condescending to descend, and be of buttercups the friend in a New England town. 24. The wind. Buttercups the friend in New England town. Okay. A butterfly and a gown coming down the hall. I like the visual it gives, and I get 
a royal lady. Yeah. Sort. It's it's a, it's a type of royal lady. And like I like the visual of it, but to me it means nothing. Yeah. It's to me, something like that would be vomiting a bunch of pretty words. Yeah. And seeing what sticks. I mean, some of it is a lot like that, I feel. That's what it is. You know, it's 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 pretty wording. It's pretty wording and see what sticks. Yeah. And some of it sticks and some of it means something to you. And that's great. Yeah. And some of it is like just... Like robbing the dingle. Robbing the dingle. <laughs> oh, uh, Tracy put what dingle actually means. Oh. Dingle actually is a real word that means uh, a deep wooded valley or dell. Oh my. That is what a dingle is. Robbing the well or robbing deep in the valley. Yeah, robbing the valley. Still sounds like the same perverse statement yeah. to me. <laughs> Pretty much. 24. The wind. Of all the sounds dispatched around, there's not a charge to me. Like that old measure in the bows, <laughs> that phraseless melody. Do we want to try to get this coin The wind not? does, no. working okay. like a hand whose fingers brush the sky, then quiver down with tufts of tune permitted gods and me. It, it's, when winds it's a go round and round words. in bands and thrum upon the door, and birds take places overhead to bear them orchestra. I, do Edgar I Allan crave Poe him next. grace of summer boughs. Oh, if yeah. such an outcast be, he never uh, heard we'll that flesh week. Chant. This week I called Emily Dickinson, so yeah. I, I... As if some no, no, caravan I mean, of sound of all of on deserts in the sky Edgar had broken rank, yeah. the knit oh, passed yeah. in seamless company. 25. Death and Life. Apparently with no surprise to any happy flower, the frost beheads it at its play in accidental power. The blonde assassin passes on. The sun proceeds unmoved to measure off another day for an approving god. I like, I like did it one second. 26. Twas later when the summer wind Damn level! when the cricket came. And yet we will beat you. The clock meant not but going home. Twas sooner when the cricket went Go. than when the winter jump, came. Jump. Yet <laughs> that pathetic pendulum keeps doing? esoteric time. Oh, to get the mushroom. Oh, no. Indian summers. Where did you go? Indian summers. These are the days when birds come back, a very few, oh, a bird or two, one. to take a backward look. These are the days when skies put on the old sophistries of June, a blue and gold mistake. Oh, fraud that cannot cheat the bee. Almost thy plausibility induces my belief, till ranks of seeds their witness bear, and softly through the altered air hurries a timid leaf. Unpack oh, sacrament me. of summer days, O oh, last communion in the haze, permit a child to join thy sacred emblems oh to my. break, thy consecrate bread to break, taste Conception? thine immortal wine. I think, um, I think she's talking about, uh, Autumn. womanhood. The morns are meeker than they were. The nuts because are getting brown. The join. berry's cheek is plumper. The rose is out of town. She is. She's talking the about The maple wears a gayer developing. scarf. Mm -hmm. The field is scarlet Blossoming. gown. Lest I should be old-fashioned, I'll put a trinket on. Good. You stay there. Don't do okay. anything. 29. Precluded. The sky is low. <laughs> the clouds are mean. You stay there! Geronimo! <laughs> I like jump and fall to my death. It's like... <laughs> Good, you made it. Now, goodbye. <laughs> like, oh no. That wasn't my plan. <laughs> that was not my plan. Oh well. Uh, Eyes low, the clouds are mean. A traveling flake of okay, snow across the barn and through a let's rut. Get out of here. The bait oh, no. will go. Oh, a narrow wind complains job. all day how someone treated him. Go. Nature, like us, is sometimes go, caught Luigi. without her diet. Oh no! Oh. Thirty. <laughs> the hemlock. I think the hemlock likes to stand it. upon a marge of snow. It's, it's coming! It satisfies in all. Yay! That men must slake in wilderness, 
or in the desert cloy, an instinct for the ore, the bald Lapland's necessity. Is she okay with me coughing? The hemlock's nature her? thrives on cold. I like lower yeah. stomach hurting northern winds. Rosalina. Rosalina. My, it's my lower stomach hurts from coughing. His best yeah. Norwegian wines. To satin no, races, he's not. In song in my head. But children yeah. on the dawn beneath <laughs> his tabernacle. It's because I jumped off the cliff so fully. And I her wrestlers mm -hmm. run. 31. There's a certain slant of light on winter afternoons that oppresses like the emotion. weight of cathedral tunes. Heavenly hurt it gives us. We can find no scar, but internal difference where the meanings nibbit? are. Let's get nibbit. None may teach nibbit? you anything. Yes. Tis the seal, Why despair, an imperial affliction sent us of the air. When it comes, the landscape nibbit. listens. Shadows hold their breath when it goes. Tis like the distance on the look of death. <coughs> End of part three. Nature. Of poems. Series one. By nature. Emily Dickinson. Yeah. Those are all poems about nature. Okay, where to? I follow Toad. Poems. Series one. By Emily Dickinson. Part Ten. four. Time and eternity. A cross quick. This is a LibriVox no. recording. All LibriVox no. recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. I don't want to do this one. Part 4. Time right. and Eternity. I don't want to. 1. One dignity delays for all. One mitered afternoon. None can avoid this purple. None evade this oh. crown. Coach it ensures and footmen, chamber and state and throng. Bells also in the village as we ride grand along. What dignified attendance, what service when we pause. How loyally at parting their hundred hats they raise. How pomp surpassing ermine, when simple you and I present our meek Escuchian and claim the rank to die. Wow. Two. Too late. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe just next week we do Poe. Instead of yeah. do more of Emily Dickinson. Because I, I liked her ones about love. But uh, everything else was like... But a lot of her other stuff is either like... It's really era-centric. Yeah. And Poe <laughs> is just... Dark. And I don't know. There's probably a bunch of other po uh, poems and or short stories short storytellers that'll be really good oops <laughs> oops got so busy running instead of jumping jumping let's try kitchen a bit again oh no ah okay two too late delayed till she'd ceased to know Delayed till in its vest of snow, her loving bosom lay, an hour behind the fleeting breath, later by just an hour than death. Oh, lagging yesterday, could she have guessed that it would be? Could but a crier of the glee have climbed the distant hill, had not the bliss so slow a pace? Shoot. Who knows, but this surrendered face were undefeated still. Shoot. Oh, if there may departing be time? any forgot by victory in her imperial round, show them this meek, unparalleled thing that could not stop okay. to be a king. Doubtful if it be crowned. Three. He's taunting. Astra Castra. Mm hmm. Astra Castra. Departed to the judgment, a mighty that afternoon, great clouds like yeah. ushers leaning, creation looking on. Okay, he's the flesh invincible. surrendered, That's cancelled, like the bodiless That's begun, two worlds Little. like audiences disperse and leave the soul alone. Who are you dating? Four. Bubbled. Safe in their alabaster Butter chambers, hands. untouched real, by morning and untouched by noon. Sleep the meek oh, members no. of the resurrection, Be. rafter of satin, Nibbit's gone. and roof of stone. Light laughs the breeze in her castle of sunshine, yeah. babbles the bee in the stolid ear, pipe the sweet birds in ignorant cadence. Ah, what sagacity hey, perished here! 
Grand go the years in the crescent above them. Worlds scoop their arcs and firmaments row. Diadems drop and dodges wow. surrender. Soundless as dots on a disk of snow. Five. On this long storm the rainbow rose. On this late morn the sun, the clouds like listless elephants, horizons straggled down. The birds rose smiling in their nests. The gales indeed were done. Alas, how heedless were the eyes on whom the summer shone. The quiet nonchalance of death, no daybreak can bestir. The slow archangel's ah. syllables oh, must Oh my god, it's a fire, her. Yoshi! Come back, Yoshi! Six. From the oh, chrysalis. No. My cocoon tightens, colors tease. I'm feeling for the air. A dim capacity for wings degrades the dress <gasps> I wear. Yoshi. A power of butterfly <gasps> no. must be the oh, aptitude to fly. Oh, they're, they're, Meadows they're of majesty fire. concedes they eat the fire and oh, okay. easy sweeps of sky. So I must baffle at the hint and cipher at the sign and make much blunder if at last I take the clue divine. The fireballs hit me. Seven. Setting sail. Exultation is the going of an inland soul to sea, past the houses, past the headlands, into deep eternity. Bred as we among the mountains, can the sailor understand the divine intoxication of the first league out from land? Eight. Look back on time with kindly eyes. He doubtless did his best. How softly sinks his trembling sun. In human nature's west. Thank you. Nine. A train oh, went through a burial one. gate. A bird broke forth and sang, and trilled and quivered and shook his throat till all the churchyard rang, and then adjusted his little notes and bowed and sang again. Doubtless he thought it meet of him to say goodbye to men. Oh my. Ten. I died for beauty, but was scarce adjusted in the tomb, when one who died for truth was laying in an adjoining room. He okay, questioned softly why I failed. For beauty, Left or right? I replied, right. and I for truth. The two are one, we brethren are, he said. And so, as kinsmen met at night, we talked between the rooms until the moss had reached our lips and covered up our names. Eleven. Here. Troubled Go. about many things. How many times these low feet staggered, only the soldierly mouth can tell. Try, can oh, you well. stir the awful rivet? Oh, well, really Try, cool. can you lift the hasps of steel? Stroke the cool forehead, <gasps> hot so often. Lift, if you can, the listless hair. Handle the adamantine fingers, never a thimble more shall wear. Buzz the dull flies on the chamber window. Brave shines the sun from the freckled pane. Fearless the cobweb swings from the ceiling. Indolent housewife's in daisies lane. Twelve. Real. I like a look of agony, because I know it's true. Men do not shame convulsion, nor simulate a throw. The eyes glaze once, and that is death, impossible to feign. The beads upon the forehead, by homely anguish strung. Thirteen, here? the funeral. Here? That short potential stir, that each can make but once. That bustle, so illustrious, tis almost consequence. Wow, I'm like super sad. Is the eclat of death. Oh, thou unknown eclat renown. That not a beggar would accept mm -hmm. had he the power to spurn. 14. I went to thank her, but she slept. Her bed a funneled stone, with nosegays at the head and foot that travelers had thrown, who went to thank her, but she slept. Twas short to cross the sea, to look upon her like alive, but turning back, twas slow. Fifteen. I've seen a dying eye run round and round a room 
in search of something, as it seemed, then cloudier become, and oh, then shit. obscure with fog, what? and then be sold down, okay. without disclosing what it be, Ooh, twas baby. blessed to have seen. Sixteen. Refuge. Ooh, baby, baby. The clouds their backs together laid, the north begun to push, the forest oh. galloped till they fell, the lightning <coughs> sniffed like mice, the thunder crumbled like a stuff. How good to be safe in tombs where nature's temper cannot reach, nor vengeance ever comes. 17. I never saw more, I never saw the sea, yet know I how the heather she looks, really likes and what a wave the must be. A she does. I never spoke with God, nor visited in heaven, yet certain am I of the spot, Maybe as she... if the chart were given. I think she it had sailed. something to do with her family. 18. Playmates. <coughs> God permits industrious angels afternoons oh. to play. I met one, forgot my schoolmates, all for him straightway. God calls home the angels promptly at the setting sun. I missed mine. Let me eat him. How dreary marbles after playing crown. <laughs> you ate me. Oh no, I did? Yes. Nineteen. <laughs> To know just how he suffered would be dear. Eat, quick, to quick. know if any human eyes were near, to whom on, he could she. entrust his wavering gaze yes. until it settled firm okay. on paradise. To know if he was patient, part content, was dying as he thought, or different. Was it a pleasant day to die? And did wow. the sunshine face his way? What was his furthest mind of home? Or gone. I want Po now. Or yeah. What the distance say? At news that he ceased human nature Fair. on such a day, and wishes had he any? Wow. Just his sigh, accented, had been legible to me. And was he confident until ill fluttered out in the everlasting well? And if he spoke, what name was best? What first? What one broke off with at the drowsiest? Was he afraid or tranquil? Might he know how conscious consciousness could grow till love that was and love too blessed to be meet and the junction be okay, eternity? After this one, we'll... after this story. Wow. Well, and on that happy note, we're not going to come back to Emily Dickinson again. At least I don't think any time we will anytime soon. And uh, we will call it for the night. And next time I will remember how to begin the stream better. And hopefully I'll get the audio system working better so I can actually do it all through the computer. Yeah! Yeah, it did! It got really dark! And if we're going to go dark, we might as well just stick with Edgar Allan Poe the whole time and just be dark the whole time. But man, I thought Emily Dickinson actually had like happy poems. Yeah, no. Nope. <laughs> Emily Dickinson is just like any other emo teenager for a long time, apparently, where she just writes and oh. <laughs> where she writes the darkness in her heart and... And, and pretend she's the only one in the world that has it. <laughs> yep, that's it. Good night. <laughs> uh, like, comment, subscribe. Become a member of Croth Crew. Good night. Good night. <laughs>